e speakers um, and move on into those. So first of all, we are going to have Jim McCormick, who is the Chief Executive of the Robertson Trust. Thank you, Jim, for being here. Really appreciate you coming along. And Jim is going to be um, supported here and uh, uh, as a partner in this presentation by Claire O'Hara. Claire is the program director for each and every child. So Claire, again, really good to see you today. I appreciate you giving us your time. And the third presentation will be from Claire Thompson, who is the participation officer with Maternal Health Scotland. Um, and again, equally, Claire, thank you very much for coming along today. We look forward to hearing uh, what you've got to say. So I'm going to pass on immediately now to Jim McCormick and ask Jim just to um, take it from here. Thanks, Jim. Paul, thank you. And to your colleagues in the network and at SCDC, it's a great pleasure to join you for what is a really intriguing event in an intriguing week. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, not just sharing some of our thinking, um, but learning quite a lot this afternoon. So thank you for hosting the event. Um, I'm really the warm up act for my colleague, Claire. Um, what I wanted to do just in a few minutes is, is say a few words about a review of these issues. From the Robertson Trust, we are um, an independent funder, grant maker in Scotland. Um, our 10-year strategy, which was published last year, we've made a commitment to getting to grips with poverty and trauma in Scotland across this decade uh, by using all of our resources. So funding, capacity building, informing and influencing. And we're still in an early stage of that journey, but we have a few perspectives to share, um, which I hope are, are helpful. And I, I guess the first thing I'd like to say is uh, we see all the time in those who apply for funding to us. I think other, other, other funders find this as well, I'm sure. Um, growing evidence of organisations in the third sector from even very small grassroots organisations to um, uh, larger ones which are seeking to make a difference at a national level. We see all the time evidence of um, uh, uh, genuine participation, co-design, co-production. The language changes, but fundamentally facing up to questions of power and voice, I'm trying to shift what have often been very unhelpful power dynamics uh, between funders and their, their partners and beneficiaries. Um, so we see momentum and we're learning um, and there's more to do. There's more to do, particularly from an equalities perspective uh, around um, race and disability and gender in particular. Um, beyond this, um, uh, we're trying to build, build frames that are around participation and co-design as of right, there's a very sharp challenge coming our way. It's here already, which is partly about government. It goes towards the corporate sector too. It's through the lens of climate change and Black Lives Matters, but many other things as well. And, and it, it's, it's a challenge around, around um, participation, co-design, co-pro as of right, not as of invitation. And we have to take that challenge head on and build our know-how and our capacity to, to uh, respond. Um, but what I think is really important for this conversation is how we move upstream. And while all that hard work has been done at a grassroots level, making sure at a policy level, long-term policy and practice change level, we're also seeing change. I think there are reasons to be hopeful, but there's a long way to go. Among those reasons to be hopeful, I think of the work that we're doing in Scotland now on social security. It's a major startup area of policy where a number of really important uh, benefits are being devolved. These are mainly in the area of disability and carer benefits, but they're also low income benefits like the new Scottish child payment. I think there's a genuine commitment within government uh, 
seen through the Social Security Charter, co-produced with people with first-hand experience of the legacy GB benefit system. Um, through the experience panels, two and a half thousand volunteers who've signed up to bring their insights into the design of those payments, getting them right first time rather than waiting for lots of mistakes to be made. There's a lot of heartache and hardship built into the uh, UK benefit system that we need to prevent and avoid in Scotland. Um, and we see it as well in the promise, uh, this ambitious, really challenging root and branch look at the care system uh, for children, young people, and families.